Good morning. Welcome to another Q Breakdown. It's a Sunday. Coffee is soon to be ordered. So this is a sort of dramedy type Q that I have completed this week. There were various different instruments that I ended up trying in different libraries. It turns out that all I did was used the BBC SO from Spitfire. What I've done is bounced out the final mix here so we can have a listen to it and then I will go through and break down the different parts that make it up. So let's have a listen. <laughs> where I left it. So we are going to mute that. I'm going to put a bit of gain on the output otherwise this is going to be quite low and it is basically three sort of sections. So we've got these marimbas that play on top of each other and interweave. There's the glock that comes in. We've got some, effectively, these two violin ones and the violin one lead are doing the same part, but I'll show you why they are both there in a second. We've got a uh, celli lead pizzicato. There's a clarinet bassoon for the woodwinds. And then we've got some untuned percussion there at the bottom, cymbals and tambourines. Just going back to the waveform, you can see that I've got various edit points in here, by which I mean it pretty much goes to zero or negative infinity dB. So there is specific points that an editor could cut to depending on the length of the scene that they're using. So this makes it much more user friendly from their point of view. Okay. So what I started off with was this little sort of motif here. That's it. That's all I started with. Um, later on, we get so there's a little run up at the end of that one. When we come to the B section, which is from twenty nine to thirty seven, there's a bit of a variation. Mm -hmm. 
nothing overly complicated. So a little run at the end there, just to bring everything back. Then you've got this second marimba part, which is literally just an octave above. That's all it is. I took the first part and copied it and moved all the notes up by an octave. So if we show them both together, you see they sitting exactly on top of each other. Let's hear them both together. Then I wanted something a bit sort of rhythmic. Slight variation there. And then we've got some runs at the ends of these parts. They're all the same. Then we come back a bit later. This is the B section where it's just doing a little alternating section. And then for the end, we've dropped it down uh, by an octave from where we started. But essentially, it is a similar pattern, but with more notes in it. And at the very end, got that chromatic run. Um, this one, let's go back to the beginning. Again, it's more of a accompanying rhythmic part. But when you put them all together, so these are emphasizing key parts. Later on at the B section, it's more of a drone. the marimba part. Basic marimba, same thing, an octave up, uh, a bit of a rhythmic variation and again another, this is more accents rather than rhythmic variation. So there we go. Uh, the glock I've stuck in just for some accents every now and then so you'll hear it at the end here. And I repeat that there and then because we want it to build towards the end, we put more of them in. And then get a bit faster. You get the general idea. Okay, violins. Violin one, this is the violin section, violins one section and they are playing spiccato as are as as is the violin one leader if we just hear violins one on their own you will get this we hear violin leader on their own So you can hear same notes, but different sound. And you will notice by the levels here that I've put the violin leader slightly louder than the violin ones. And I think this gives it a bit of extra bite. 
so you can really hear the strings being uh, impacted by the bow. If we take the leader out, it's a bit more woolly. So I like that, that's a nice combination there. Um, all that does is that same pattern all the way through. We do have little runs at the end. Quite nice. Uh, the chili part is actually a bass doing pizzicato, but we move it up for the B section into the chili range. So when we get here. put some extra runs in towards the end. This is building momentum. For a nice button ending. The clarinets, they come in here. doing sort of relatively little and the idea is that you introduce a sound before you're actually going to properly use it that's a one orchestration technique you can use so you'll notice also for the bassoons i have them come in before this b section where i'm going to use them properly and then they continue into the sort of repeat of the first section <laughs> And this is where I really wanted the clarinets to have their little moment. Driving that rhythm. Uh, along with that you've got the bassoons. So to start with, the bassoons come in here. And that is the end of the, the A section. Everything else is going up, the bassoons are going down. And then they complement the clarinet. So it's a much more rhythmic line from the bassoons. And then to end, get them doing some chromatic scales. Symbols, very, very sparse. So a couple of swells, and then later on, very quiet. And right at the end, I didn't want it to be a big swell at the end, so the last one is actually very subtle as well. The tambourines come in for the B section. So you've got the hits, which are very light there. And then the rolls and hit. The only thing that really changed between this section and the last one is just uh, the ending. So it matched up with uh, the rest of the orchestra doing that final hit. So I've got a hit going into the roll there to give it a bit of extra oomph. Mm -hmm. 
stick it all together. Do a bit of mastering. Job done. Um, I hope you found that useful, insightful, helpful, uh, whatever. Uh, new camera on an iPhone, which hopefully is uh, working a bit better. Um, if you enjoyed that, do like and subscribe. It is always appreciated. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye for now.